May God bless you all. May God bless us when we apply the rational, intelligent, and supernatural faith that has nothing to do with the natural one. The natural faith is the faith that leans on religiosity or on religions. The supernatural faith is based upon the Word of God and nothing else. So, you have to evaluate properly what your faith has been. If it's a natural faith, you're always going to be frustrated in your needs and relationship with God because it's a natural faith. The natural faith is for you to live a natural life. You sow, you reap. You don't sow, you don't reap. This is the reality. This is the natural faith. Nobody needs to believe in God to have a natural faith. Everybody knows the law of nature, the law of physics. If the person falls from a certain height, that person may die. So, friends, the natural faith has nothing to do nothing to do with the supernatural faith. The supernatural faith doesn't have religion. The supernatural faith doesn't have emotions. The supernatural faith is gross because it attacks. It knows around our self, our desires, our thoughts, our will. It knocks around what we wish. Because it's a kind of faith that comes from above. The supernatural faith is a faith that doesn't depend on circumstances. It's madness to the world. It's madness to those who live in the natural faith. Because those who live in the natural faith will never understand those who live in the supernatural faith. Because those who live by natural faith want to see to believe it. On the other hand, those who live by supernatural faith, it's the opposite. First they believe, then they will see it. So the supernatural faith is what produces the miracle. The supernatural faith is what brings results in our life that we need daily. The supernatural faith is the weapon for us to face the world, including this coronavirus. The supernatural faith is a weapon of attack and defense for us to overcome the problems, for us to resolve our problems through an alliance with God. So when the person absorbs the supernatural faith, then that person has a weapon, a weapon of God for her to overcome the problems of this world. Then you may ask, what can I do to get such a supernatural faith? The supernatural faith comes by hearing the Word of God. When you hear the Word of God, when you read the Holy Scriptures, the supernatural faith comes upon you. You just need to understand the Holy Scriptures and you'll experience this. You are going to be an autosufficient person. You're going to be a person empowered by a supernatural power that nobody will see, but you will enjoy the privileges that this faith brings. Because it's by the supernatural faith we conquer. It's by the supernatural faith that we overcome. The natural faith doesn't give any victory. The natural faith makes us slave, a slave of religiosity, of religion. But when we absorb the supernatural faith, that's the intelligent faith 
It's a faith that thinks, that rationalizes, that weighs the matter and evaluates the situation and draws its conclusions. This faith, the supernatural faith, which is an intelligent faith, makes us overcome the world. Not only our personal problems, but also to overcome the world. That's what the Apostle John speaks in his sacred text. Let's see. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world. For whatever is born of God, whoever is born of God is a child of God. Whoever is not born of God obviously doesn't overcome the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. That means this is the reason of our victory, to overcome the world. But this faith is not religious. This faith is not natural, but supernatural. It's the faith, the supernatural faith that makes us believe in the impossible, the invisible. This is the supernatural faith to believe in the word of an invisible God, to believe in the word of a God that we cannot touch, untouchable, we cannot feel, but we believe. And this belief makes the difference. For example, you are watching me now. You are there tied up. Besides the quarantine that you have to stay indoors, imprisoned, between four walls in your own house. Though being amongst your family members, you still have a worse prison, which is the depression, a deep sadness. You feel like crying, crying, that lasts for nights and days without stopping. The suicidal thoughts, the pain in the soul, you feel a void inside of you. And it's so painful, so painful that it's not because of the void, but the emptiness is what provokes the pain. A different pain from the one in the flesh. It's an unbearable pain. That's why some people can't take it and try to commit suicide or to kill themselves to get rid of this pain. But if the person is not from God, where do you think that person's soul will go? If that person doesn't walk in faith and the righteousness of God, that person will kill herself. And what do you think that will happen to that person? So, my friend, those who live this supernatural faith overcome not only their personal problems, but as well as the world. Nobody is capable to overcome the world without overcoming themselves first. That's a fact. But the supernatural faith guarantees us to overcome the world. This is the faith that you have to seek. It's the faith that comes from the spirit of faith, which is the Holy Spirit.